I perform good karma, but still, often performing good karma, sometimes I don't get positive result, which results in demoralization. I also observe people who don't do good karma and still enjoy their lives. <laughs> how to deal with this demoralization and how to continue to do the good karma. My dear Mayank, if you feel that even after doing good karma, you don't get appreciation, attention, vahavai, then actually you are not doing any good karma. Good karma doesn't mean that you should be appreciated, applauded, awarded by people. What is good karma? That which gives you joy is good karma. In a school, the teacher said that we should do one kind day, uh, thing every day. One kind thing every day. So next day, she talks to the students and she asks, uh, What did you do? So one student raised his hand and he said, When I was about to leave for my home yesterday, I saw an old lady who wanted to cross the street. I helped her to cross the street. Okay, nice, very good. The whole class clapped. Next, he said, I saw an old lady who wanted to cross the busy street. I helped her. Great teacher thought, how come? Then the third said, old lady crossed the street. Fourth, old lady crossed the street. The fifth, he said, the old lady, what? Oh, yeah, just wait. How come you all got to meet an old lady who wanted to cross the street? He said, there's the same lady and she never wanted to cross the street. She actually never wanted to cross the street. She was just standing there waiting for taxi. And here the students are making her cross the street. And poor lady is being crossed from this side to that, from this side to that. Now, is it a good karma? Mm. So when you say, I am doing good karma, what do you mean by that? What is good karma? In my opinion, which makes your heart happy and maybe you share that happiness with other person is a good karma. That which you are not doing for yourself. That which you are doing for somebody else. See, on the day one of this retreat, I came to the food stall and I, I think so served more than 100 plus maybe boys and girls. So my um, person who serves me the dinner, he said, you, you never ate your dinner and you just went out. Why you have to do that? You should rest. You have spoken you have, and it's a hot day. I said, see, these children have come to me and it gives me joy to see them up close, eye to eye. This makes me happy. Well, that's a different story that even this makes them happy. So I am happy, they are happy. What the hell the heat? Heat doesn't bother me at all. See, it's your vacation time. You could have gone anywhere, anywhere, but you chose to come here. And I appreciate that. And I think so in my all the retreats which I do in, the, in, in a year, this becomes the hardest on part of my all ashram team because they are working day in and day out and they are sleeping so late. Such is the schedule, but they are enjoying. And that day one of the girls was saying to me that when we go to the bed, we hit the bed. Ah, thank you Guruji, what a day. What a day. It's not a complaint, but it is what a day. And I am not giving them any appreciation because I know they are being loved and appreciated by all of you. <laughs> 